Welcome to the Change Request for Policy Endorsements tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to create and verify request for policy endorsements in easy links. Change request can come from the carrier, your client via client center and you as the agent on behalf of your client. Change requests are a good way to track and help hold yourself accountable to ensure the endorsement is completed for the insured. Please note, this process is mainly for manual policies but can be used for downloading policies as well. For downloading policies if there is an exact match between the request and the endorsement the system will automatically confirm the change and add the premium. If there is an open task, make sure you manually close it once the download comes in. If the endorsement is not an exact match, a management system admin must find and match the policy manually from the unmatched folder. To learn how to work the unmatched folder please watch Working Unmatched Policy Downloads video. So let's get started by covering carrier change requests first. Carrier change requests are normally because the insured contacted the carrier directly to have a policy change and the carrier just notified you of the update. In this case, you will just need to update the manual policy with a change from the carrier. To do so, navigate to the client's overview page, click on the policy actions icon, hover over service, then click change. Update the change premium and other information on the policy shell then click change and edit policy to update any policy details. When ready click save. Once everything is completed, you can send your client an email or text to let them know the endorsement is complete by using the text or email icon to the left. Additionally, if necessary notify any additional interest of the change and close any open task associated with the change request as well. Next, we will cover how the client center and agency change requests are triggered. After we will cover the steps on how to service a change request. Client center change requests come from your client via client center. In Client Center, the insured will click on Change Request, select the policy, select the type of change, complete the form, then submit. Depending on the settings by your admin you will have a task due in your task list along with a notification in easy links and possibly an email. Please review the request to ensure you understand what is needed. To do so, navigate to the policy and click on History. You will notice policy source set to Client Center for the line item. From here click on Actions then Edit. This will take you into the policy shell, please review it to ensure it is correct then click Save and continue Edit. From here look over the policy change request to ensure everything is up to date including the change date. If you do not have a clear understanding of the change requested, please reach out to your insured. Next, agency generated change requests are entered by an agent. This is normally done when you receive a call, email or the insured comes in and requests a policy change. For example, we will create a change request for adding a new vehicle to a personal auto policy. Navigate to the applicant who needs the change request. From the overview page click on the policy actions icon. From there hover over service then click change request. Please note, you can also find change request on the policy tab using the same actions and on the policy details tab by clicking on actions then change request. For the change request, ensure the policy info is correct then enter in the policy change description. Next, click edit change request. This will give you the ability to enter the info that is changing. The system tracks whether is it an addition, removal or change in the policy and will generate this in the accord change request form. Now we are back to our preview section when we were looking over the client center request. From here on the steps will apply to both client center or agency change requests. Once all the information is entered you can click preview to preview the change. If everything is correct, exit the preview, then click save and close. This will generate the change request summary. Look over the summary to ensure it is accurate. Please note, the change summary form is a custom EasyLinks form created to make it easier to see changes. Next, at the top click Actions. Here you will have options to add note, email, print, e-signature and policy change request accord. Our next step is to have the customer verify the change put in the request is what they want. So, we will send an e-signature envelope. Click on e-signature. Set up and send the e-signature to your client. To learn about eSignature Watch, how to create and send an eSignature envelope. If you do not have eSignature you can print the change request summary and have the client sign in person or follow your agency recommended verification method. 
Please note, it is a good idea to add a task and associate it to the policy as a reminder to follow up with the customer for the change. To do so, click the Add Note icon to the top right, enter a title and description. Click the Add Task icon to add a task and set a due date then enter a reminder and checklist if necessary. Click on the folder icon to associate the task to a policy. To learn more please watch our Creating Notes, Tasks, and Task Reminders with Agency Workspace video. Please remember that Client Center generated request automatically create a task for the change request. You can find and update that task via your task list to the top right or on the Client's Overview page in the task box. Now that the customer has confirmed they want the change. It is time for you to bind the endorsement with the carrier by using the carrier website, call or email based on their guidelines and your agency standard operations. Now that the carrier has fulfilled the request it is time to confirm the change request on the policy to ensure the endorsement is accurate. To do so, navigate to the applicant with the change request. Notice on the overview tab you will see the open change request tag on the policy. Click on the policy then click on the history tab. You will notice the open change request highlighted in yellow. Only open change request will be highlighted. Look over the endorsement to ensure it is correct and matching what is in the change request. If not correct, please contact the carrier. Our next action is to confirm the change request for the policy. To do so click on Actions. Here you will have options to edit, delete, compare and confirm change request. Click Confirm Change. Update the policy information for the change in premium and anything else if necessary. Next, click on Change and Edit Policy to update information for a manual policy not accessible in the policy shell if necessary. When ready click Save and Close. Please remember to update your insured that you received the change from the carrier via the email or text icons. Also notify any additional interests as needed. That is all for this tutorial. You should now have the knowledge to create and verify change request for policy endorsements. Thanks for watching.